Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full cover gel extension French manicure. Um, I was inspired to make this because I watched the video by Neck to Nails here on YouTube on how she did hers and I just wanted to redo my nails, show you how I did mine. Um, I picked up some tips from her video which is great, it's linked down below if you want to have a look. Um, if you have any questions let me know, I've linked as much stuff as I can down below, I think everything that I've used in this video, um, but just let me know if I've missed anything. So for my full cover tips today I have a lot of different variations of these, I've got some by, these ones today I'm using are SNA Professional um, and they're the quick tips, I've got them in all different shapes and sizes, it's great because they come in short and long shapes and sizes. I've also got some by Apre, um, I've got loads of them. Um, so I'm literally gonna, I've already done one hand, so I'm just gonna size up my other hand exactly the same. Um, and lay all my um, tips out. My three middle fingers are actually exactly the same size. Um, no matter what gel extension tip set that I use, normally my three middle fingers are the same size, which I think is quite funny because they're normally, I'd say the, the middle finger is normally bigger than the other two. Um, but yeah, so I've just sized them up and I'm gonna prep them using a sanding band and my e-file. I'm literally just gonna buff the inner surfaces so that they last a lot longer once you've bonded them on. Um, so I know in the video that I watched by Nectar Nails, she mentioned that a lot of the products that she used you can only get in South Africa, I believe it is. Um, so I've literally linked everything I've used today in the description box. That's even down to the lamp that I've used for, I have a little clip on lamp that I'll show you. Um, which is like a little mini LED lamp. It's so good and it's literally 13 pounds on Amazon. So. so yeah, sometimes when I get to prepping the smallest nail, the pinky nail, the sanding band doesn't actually fit inside the pinky nail, but the shape and size that I've used today, it fits perfectly. So just know that sometimes you might want to use a smaller bit to prep the smallest nail. I'm gonna then prep my nails. So I'm gonna cleanse with isopropyl alcohol first, then use my little pip bit for my e-file. And I'm mostly gonna focus on the tips um, of the cuticle, ignore my dry skin there. So not the tips of the cuticle, I'm gonna focus mainly in the well of the cuticle, um, just to make that nice crisp cuticle prep. Um, I tend to go around in one rotation and then switch rotations. Sometimes I keep it on the same rotation, just depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll turn it around um, do the other side. So for instance on this one I've got it on one rotation and then I'm going to press the button to switch the rotation and prep on the other side. Um, note that I'm not pressing hard at all. It might look like a lot of my dry skin slash nail bed is coming off, but it's not. I'm really not doing much at all to it. Um, mostly my dry cuticles, so yeah, I'm gonna finish doing this and then we're gonna put a little base coat on and then we're gonna start bonding our full cover extensions. I may have slightly fibbed to you just then, I'm going to switch to a fine sanding band before we start bonding because I need to prep the rest of the nail. So I've prepped my cuticles, they're all nice and clean and ready to go. I'm just going to use this fine sanding band. I got them from Amazon actually, I really, really like them. Um, so once I've done this part we'll move on to base coat, but I have sped this up a little bit because it's quite boring really. Um, do you know what, I've just remembered, I'm not even gonna put the base coat on next, I'm gonna cut the cuticles. <laughs> so, yes, I will, I'll show you how I do that as well. So 
So once again, I'm cleansing, pushing upwards on my cuticle so it pushes it away. And then I'm literally gonna snip off the dead cuticle, eponychium, whatever you wanna call it. Um, does anyone else think it's really satisfying when you get like a really long line of the skin and then you can like snip off like a whole chunk? Cause I do, anyway. Um, I tend to snip the sides of each nail, you know where those really dry bits get, the crusties, you know, um, and then just go around the cuticles snipping any dry skin that I can find. Sometimes if I've got a client who doesn't have any cuticle that needs nipping, then I won't nip it. Um, just depends on, everyone's nails are quite different really, some people don't tend to get much of a cuticle. Actually on my ring finger, you'll see when I next get to it, I don't have much of a cuticle to snip so I kind of don't really just snip it so yeah it just depends so now I've got to the ring finger I can notice that I really don't have anything to snip so that was literally it that was what three seconds of me snipping at that nail um, yeah sometimes you just don't need to do it Right guys, so this is my Doris tool by Navy Pro Tools. This is gonna seem a bit weird, but I'm gonna show you how to push and roll your cuticle away. So I'm not just gonna push my cuticles. I'm gonna start by pushing my cuticle a little bit further away, just for an extra bit of prep. But what I'm gonna do is push and roll. So push and roll, push and roll, push and roll, push and roll. I'm not hurting myself by any means at all. But what I'm doing is I'm pushing the cuticle as far as I can get it away and then I'm rolling so the skin's kind of gonna roll back so it allows me to push it a bit further does that make sense I promise I'm not hurting myself here you don't want to do any of this prep if it's gonna hurt you if you're hurting yourself just go a bit gentler okay so it really it really shouldn't feel uncomfortable at all I just like to do this to, I'll kind of scrape away any more little crusty bits that I can find and it just helps me to get that really like rounded cuticle finish. So yeah, I just call it the push and roll. I've got quite a lot of the Navy Pro tools, so I've got this one which is probably my most used one because I do the push and roll most of the time. Um, I've got the Ethel which is the square one which is really good for getting crusties away and like prepping the nail bed all up the side walls that kind of thing and then I've got one that's basically a dental excavator which really helps to do this to be fair it, it will push the cuticle away but I just prefer doing the push and roll if you've never tried the push and roll it's really good I recommend it um, you'll definitely notice a difference in the way your nails are finished because once you've applied the gel what do they say about a millimetre so away I'm using the bow system sometimes I try and go a little bit rubber base than that but once your cuticle the kind of video that I watched by Nick today was finished she's using a rubber it base so and close I thought, to the cuticle yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I gonna do that, that. I think I used this last time I did them to be fair um, it's just nice I think to have a thinner gel application for a full cover tip so normally I would use rubber base by the gel bottle if I'm doing like a full set of um, full cover gel extensions um yeah i just really liked the look of this it was very natural as a nail base not too pink that kind of thing and it's got a subtle little bit of sparkle in it which i really liked so i'm gonna pop on a really thin layer of this what i do is i work in a conservatory so it can get really cold in the winter so i tend to put my gels either on a mug warmer a little radiator or in front of a heater just to warm it up a bit so it's a bit more pliable um, it kind of loosens the viscosity and it's much nicer to work with. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pop on a thin layer of this and then, like I've said already, I'm going to get to the bonding bit for you. Oh 
my gosh, so this is the bit I'm really excited about. I wanted to show you my little LED lamp. So this literally clips on to my armrest um, and then I literally bend it forward and you just click it on. So it's constantly on, but it just helps when you're doing your own nails so that you can literally apply the tip and just like move it under the lamp. You don't have to, you know, I used to faff about with a clicky LED torch. That was just too much faff. So the LED lamp, I would recommend it to anyone. It's amazing. Um, yeah, and it's just much easier. And it's on Amazon, it's 13 pounds. Go and get yourself one. So once you've sized up your cover tips, full cover tips, and prepped them like we did earlier, you're literally gonna place a little bead in the well of the nail. And if you've ever used one of those screen protectors that you have to peel off the plastic and then you let it sit on your phone, you kind of just let let it stick to your phone and then hope, you know, like squish out the air bubbles. It's kind of like that. So you're literally gonna place it at a 45 degree angle towards your nail and kind of just let the gel do its thing as you lay it down. If it seeps out of any of the edges, you can use a little brush to catch those little bits and just wipe them away. Um, the good thing about this gel, it's a 30 second cure time, which is really good. So it doesn't take long for the gel, sorry, for the nail to set in place using the little gel lamp. Um, I'm gonna use my Hazel Dixon round brush to get rid of any excess from the tip before it's fully cured just that make sure there's no lumpy bumpy bits underneath your nails um, that used to be a bit of a troubleshoot problem for me I would get gel absolutely everywhere but literally just wait till it's not fully cured just wait till it's like you can't wiggle it so it's not moving about and then wipe the gel from underneath Again, we're just placing at a 45 degree angle and gently pressing the nail down to let the gel flow. You don't want to push too hard and you don't want to do it too quickly, so the slower the better. Yep, so the slower the better and then you're going to remove the gel from the underside. Um, there was a nail, I think it's this nail, that I actually got some on my skin. Um, you don't want to do that, but as long as you make sure you wipe it off, then you probably get no problem. So I'm just going to keep repeating this process. So a little bit of gel in the well, 45 degree angle, and then you're going to gently, slowly lay the nail down and then cure it under your mini lamp or whichever lamp you prefer to use. I used to use my main LED lamp just propped up so that I could put my hands underneath it. Um, yeah, once I've done each one of my nails, I'm gonna fully cure them for another minute in my LED lamp. So once you have popped your hand in for a full cure, I wanted to file and shape my nails a little bit better, more to my liking, ready to paint the French. So I'm just using my 180 240 grit file and just freshening up the shape a little bit. Um, I do think French looks better on a square. I tend to go for almond nails, but I went for French, so I thought it had to be square. Um, yeah, and I was really happy with the shape. I didn't want them too long. Um, and I wanted to show you these little buffers that I found on Amazon. Once I watched the video by Nectar Nails, I wanted to find some little buffers just to see if I could do a little bit of prepping after the full, full cover tips were on without using my e-file. So yeah, I really love the size of these. Really good to have per client and then just throw them away because they're nice and small. Um, yeah, and they're really gentle. I thought they were great, so I'm definitely going to repurchase these.
Okay, so then I'm just going to do a final cleanse before I paint my French. I have linked the art gel that I use down below. It's the Magpie White Art Gel. And I'm basically just going to leave you to watch me paint on my French. I don't really have a method to do, uh, to how I do it. I just kind of do it the way I do it. On In hindsight, I could have done some of them a little bit thinner at the tip, but I'm still happy with how they came out. That's just me being... Um, a perfectionist. <laughs> so yeah, I'm using a little brush by Beetles. I've linked the brushes down below. I'm not affiliated by any of the things I'm mentioning today. They're all my own opinion. Um, but these are the little Beetle art brush set that I found on Amazon. Really like them. They come with lids, so that's really good for me working in a conservatory. If the sunlight gets to all of my brushes, then it does ruin them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to paint these one by one. And if you have any questions on how I do it, then let me know. Guys, so I actually left this bit in because I wanted to show you that I am a nail professional and I don't get things right all the time. So as you can see, I smudged the heck out of my little finger um, and then I actually even ruined my ring finger halfway through. So that was when I was trying to fix my pinky. So I just thought I'd leave it in just to show you the reality of being a nail tech. We don't always get it right every single time. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd leave that in because I thought it was funny. I smudged it really badly and then I could have even improved the shape a bit more. Um, I wasn't actually happy with the shape of the pinky, but nevertheless, it's fine. I was happy with it still. I'm just a perfectionist, okay? So once you're finally happy with drawing on your French tips, it's time to do top coat and it's literally as simple as that. So I'm using Extreme Shine Top Coat by The Gel Bottle, it is my ride or die, I will never change because it's so good, it's so shiny, just trust me, I've linked it down below if you want to test it and then let me know because it doesn't disappoint. So yeah, I'm gonna top coat, cap the ends. Um, in the video by Nectar Nails, I wish I did this, but I forgot. So once she's top coated, she buffs the nails to get rid of any of like the ridges from when you paint on your French tip. Thought that was genius, but then I forgot about it. So I, if I did this again, I would buff and then double top coat just to make it smooth, you know? Um, but yeah, I was really happy with how they came out. I popped on some cuticle oil. Um, my life's hack for cuticle oil is to use a brush where you can really get underneath the nail. So going around and then squishing it underneath. Clients love this. Literally, they love it. As soon as you get that underneath bit there, ooh yeah, love it, they love it. So that's a top tip on cuticle oil. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I haven't bored you to death with all the talking. 
um, this is how my nails turned out and I know for a fact they're gonna last me a long long time like full cover tips when you do them right they last such a long time they're not coming off that's what I always tell my clients like they're not coming off don't worry about them um, but yeah love how these came out I love how effortless a French manicure is and they didn't take me too long at all to be honest so thank you so much for watching please comment if you enjoyed um, like the video subscribe all that fun stuff and I will see you in my next video